Hello there. Well, if you're much of a coffee drinker, and if you uh, have discovered the Keurig coffee maker, uh, you probably are enjoying a single cup of coffee, and uh, don't have to drink stale coffee. It's just kind of a nice thing to have. So, my wife got one uh, about a year ago, about a year and a half ago, and... Um, it's been very good to us. It's worked just fine. We've not had any trouble with it until recently. And what we found, what we uh, began to see was uh, a couple of cups. As a couple of cups were made, uh, either coffee, water came out all over, or instead of having a nice cup of coffee, we had half a cup of coffee. And that went about twice, and then we didn't have anything. It would just sit there and just kind of make a sound that we'd never heard before. And so uh, we were a little bit uh, concerned because we like to have our coffee in the morning. So my wife called the Keurig company and uh, got the help, the person on the helpline. And the first thing they said to do was to get a paper clip, open up the top, and there's a little needle thing that comes that's sticking out there, and that's what pokes through the top of the of the coffee container. And take a uh, paper clip and push it through the holes and clean out any uh, well, it's kind of a white junk uh, that lime or whatever that comes in the water. And we actually discovered there were three holes in there. And uh, that little rubber thing came off, and the company person said, "You don't need to worry about that." So we didn't. Then we decided we better put it back on because we also have that little gray uh, adapter that you can pour your put your own coffee grounds in. And so we got it all cleaned out and uh, we uh, put it all back together, and it still gave us the half cup of coffee or no coffee. Actually, that that it didn't give us any coffee. Just sat there and made the funny noise. She cleaned and did all kinds of things, and finally she got frustrated with it and kind of gave up. So then I started fooling around with it, seeing if I could figure something out. And I'm an amateur radio operator. And by the way, uh, we have found that when I transmit on 20 meters, our Keurig coffee meter, coffee maker, makes funny sounds because it's sensitive to RF. And uh, it doesn't stop it from working, but it sits there and clicks and everything. So it's just a good idea to turn it off uh, whenever I use 20 meters and uh, my run my transmitter. So knowing knowing that, and uh, uh, knowing that on some, like for instance, on a, an ICOM radio, they have instructions to, if you hold one button down, when you push the start button, it will take you to a certain menu, and if you hold another button down and push the start button uh, turn, to turn it on, it will actually reset the radio to the factory settings. And um, So what I decided I would do would be to... Uh, just politely turn it off, unplug it, hold my finger on the on-off button, and plug it in, and then try to make a cup of coffee. Well, guess what? It worked. I got my cup of coffee, and I thought, well, it's fixed. And so then I tried to make a second cup of coffee, and all it did was make that funny sound. You know, you, you lift the lid and uh, push down on it, and uh, instead of going click, grind, and making... The, the regular sounds it always makes. It just sat there and, and it made a weird, funny sound for about a minute or so and then stopped. So, uh, well, I thought, well, I can at least make one cup of coffee. So I care- politely turned it off and unplugged it and held my finger on the start button and plugged it in. And it made me another cup of coffee. Actually, I didn't make a cup of coffee. I was just testing it. And then I tried to make a second cup and it didn't work. The interesting thing is, on the third time that I politely turned it off, unplugged it, held my finger on the start button, and plugged it in again, and uh, tried to make a cup of coffee, it worked. And then when I tried to make the second cup, it worked. And it's been working ever since. So um, that might be a fix. If yours just decides that it's not going to work right, uh, that might be a fix for it. I don't know if it was... If it actually did, if it was just an answer to prayer, or what. I know my daughter in South Dakota sent hers back because the computer went wacky, and it wouldn't do what it was supposed to do. 
So you might try that if yours is just sitting there and making a funny sound and not doing anything. Just uh, just turn it off. Don't unplug it until you turn it off, but turn it off, unplug it, hold your finger on the start button, and plug it in again. Do that several times. It might make you a cup of coffee. I know it does. I know it'll make one cup of coffee when you do that. So anyway, I hope that's helpful, and I hope it works for you. It doesn't reset everything because I've discovered that you know the time that we have it turn off at night and turn on in the morning that all remained in there, so that didn't disappear. But uh, it makes a cup of coffee for you. So instead of sending it back to the factory, maybe you can still get your coffee tomorrow morning. I hope that's helpful, and thank you for listening.